Hi guys, welcome to the Architects Workshop. I'm Lola of Tor, and in today's video, we're going to be making a level one mood board. The first thing we're going to do is actually get images, resources from Pinterest. I'm using Pinterest because it's a level one and I'm not too worried about it. We need six images, six images, that's all. Um, so I'm just going to look for a cute sofa. A cute sofa, a cute sofa, a cute sofa. Oh, this is cute. So I'm going to pick objects with a white background just because I can. Oh, I should we go for something black? So don't get distracted. Save. Nice. So um, next I'm going to look for an area rug that inspires me. Or should I? Okay. I like this geometric pattern. So I've saved the rug. Now I'm just going to look for a planter. We need a planter. Six images, that's all we're getting. Okay, I like this gold planter. Gold palm with the oversized palm. Or maybe something like this. This concrete isn't bad too. So I'm just going to take it. I like the rustic feel of it. All right, so planter, rug, um, let's look for a nice coffee table. We're making one for a living room, so just go to Pinterest and uh, we're just looking for things that inspire us. Yeah, I like the geometric form of this. Ooh, this is even cuter. Where did it go? Okay, this, I like this one. Mm, but this I like the simplicity of the geometric shape shapes. All right, so there's a coffee table. Uh, maybe this could be a side stool, I guess, or uh, maybe something more fancy. Fancy. I like this. Yes, I'm going to keep this, right? I'll keep this. So we have five images now, so we need one more. So I'm just going to click, um, uh, let's get a chandelier um, or a centerpiece. Yeah, I like the simple round geometric form of this. So I'm just going to save this. So once I'm done saving all my pictures, I'm just going to go into PowerPoint now to put my pictures into the board. So step one, done. Okay, so now I'm in PowerPoint. This is it, I just opened a blank file. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm using an older version of PowerPoint. So if you have a new version, you can still follow along. Go to insert and you can bring in the images one by one i think this is better let's bring them in one by one so i've brought in my planter i'm just going to adjust the size i'll bring in the chandelier i'm just going to adjust the size again and i'll bring in another image yes this is a lovely mm, size too I'm just going to adjust the size again. Nice. And I'll bring in the coffee table. I really love this coffee table. Okay. But I do not love that the sides are rounded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop. Okay. I'm going to click crop to shape. And I'll crop it to... Okay. I'm just going to bring in the crop extents on this side. So that I can have sharp corners. So yeah, I'm really loving this coffee table. And then I'm just going to bring in the area rug. So here's my area rug right here. I'm going to reduce the size. And I'm going to send it to the back. 
so you see that this area rug is a bit big but i'm not going to worry about that now because i'm going to take care of it later then i'm going to insert my sofa so this sofa i am in love i'm in love with it so i want my sofa to kind of sit on top of this rug but in this angular form so what i'm going to do is i'm since it has a white background it has a good contrast with the background i'm just going to click on remove background and if i should shift this way shift this way you see that the sofa is selected so everything on the pink line will not be will not be selected and i'm just going to click out so you see that I have my sofa. So I need to crop in. I clicked on crop. Let me do that again. Uh, so I've clicked on the sofa now. You see the boundary lines are too wide. So I'm going to click on crop. And I'll just bring in the crop extent. So that when I'm cropping or expanding, it's from the sofa. So now I can just reduce the size of this sofa here. Right? So, like I said about this area rug, it's too big, but I want to have this grid-like pattern for what I'm creating. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to crop my, my area rug. Since it has most of the pattern I'm looking for already, I'm just going to crop it so that I have it there. So yes, this is a level one mood board, but we're not done. Remember to save your work. We're not done. So what we're going to add now, we're going to add a color palette and we're going to add a nice stylish name to it. So just some text and some boxes. So I'm going to go to insert shape. And you can click any of these shapes. I'm going to use a square. You can use a circle. You can use a semicircle, a teardrop, whatever pleases you. I'm just going to go with a square. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down shift and click. So this brings up a perfect square for me. So I have my perfect square here. So I want the squares to go across in this direction. And I'm going to put an arrow behind it. So now that I've moved this square from this point, I'm going to click Ctrl D, duplicate to get another square. Ctrl D again, Ctrl D, D, just like that till I have like, let's see, this six, six for six. <laughs> so it creates them in equal spacing. So I'm holding down Ctrl, hold down Ctrl on your keyboard, click, 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 click click and I'm just adding the selection to it so I'm going to go to format I'll click on shape outline and then I'll click no outline so I'll click on the first one shape fill eyedropper and I'll select this chair it doesn't have a lot of contrast to it let me pick from this uh, this yellow so I'll repeat this process click on the on the shape shape fill eyedropper I like this black click on it again shape fill eyedropper i like this green again shape fill eyedropper i want to look for a dark yes shape fill eyedropper i'll click from the and then okay so i'm going to switch this black and this gray let me show you why so shape fill uh this is nice okay so let me switch out the black for this, the gray on this uh, rug. So yeah, this is our color palette. So like I said, I want to do something a bit artsy. So I'm just going to go to insert again, go to shapes, and I'm going to click on this arrow. So I'm just going to click somewhere here, hold down shift so that I can draw a straight line and send it and just drag it to the side. Let me do that again. You go to insert, go to shapes, click on this arrow, 
I'm holding down shift on my keyboard and I click, uh -uh, sorry, <laughs> shift, click, hold down your, um, your mouse and just drag to the side. So I'm going to keep this in front and then I'll click on this one and bring to front, click on this one, bring to front, click on this one, bring to front so that it looks as if the arrow is snaking in and out. So I'll click on this arrow, then I'll go to format. Please, if the video is too fast, feel free to slow it down or pause and rewatch it again. This is just extra what I like to call Senere. So go to shape outline, go to weight, and we're going to go to more lines. So this is just to change the style of the arrow. Let's use this style. We'll change it to 15. Ooh, 15, not 156. All right, so 15 is a bit too thick for me. Mm, let's do nine. All right. So, and then we can change the color. And then we can even change the line type to like dash or something like that. So I'm, I'm happy with this. All right. So this is it so far. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to include a date and I'm going to write a geometric mood board, <laughs> whatever you want. So I'm going to click insert. I'm going to go to text box. And today's date is 30th. So you can change the font over here to something you find appealing. Honestly, I'm fine with this Calibri, but yeah, other designers will probably come for me. So let's just use this. Okay. So I'm just going to bring it down here mm -hmm. and I'm going to increase the size. You see that I'm increasing the size over here, just like a geometric mood board. I'm going to centralize it. Let's make it bold and you can come on that format and just do a lot with the, with the styling and whatever it is you want so you can give it a 3d bevel right you can make it glow you can transform it you can do a lot with it you can add a shadow and you can change the shadow color you can change the color itself so yeah i'm fine with this text field text outline yeah i'm going to give it black outline so this is our mood board this is our mood board you've created a simple straight to the point mood board on um, a screen so you can also change the size of your paper. If you come over here, slide size, let's say standard, ensure fits. So if I still want to change it to A3, A4, without having to worry about the size of my work, you know, being out of frame or focus, I won't have to. I'll just click on, on ensure fits. So I hope you enjoyed this, um, this tutorial. Please leave a comment if you did. Tag us when you create your work on Instagram at The Architects Workshop. The link is in the description below. All the pictures I used are from Pinterest. I will leave a link to the images in the description box below. I am not claiming I own any of the images here. I beg go YouTube. I've made a template with this particular uh, mood board that I made. So in case like you're an interior designer, and you just want something quick, straight to the point, and you just need to be able to click and use the mood board. I've made a template, a PowerPoint template, and it's available for download. It's one key. 
Yes, I am selling it. Me too, I need money. It's 1K. Just 1K. 1K for bones, for rice. 1K. Yeah, if you need it or if you want it, uh, feel free to download it at the... Check the description box for the link. So thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing your works. And thank you for buying and supporting the channel. And things are expensive in this country. Please support us by purchasing our, our products. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.